On the 1st of November, that's the first day of the reprisal, they go out and they smash windows, they fire into the air, they beat up people. Um, three civilians are killed over the course of the week. Um, the town hall is burnt that night. People describe these sort of hellish scenes that the, you know, an IRA man says that the, the tans appear to have gone mad. They're, it's almost a sort of macabre, carnivalesque uh, atmosphere of fire and danger and shooting and terror and people screaming and such. Pinos a yarn a duchroni agus Napoleoni kunta er in bubble shaviltach. The second night is when it really gets terrible. The black and tans they burn a number of houses that night of people with associations with Sinn Fein, but. This is something that affects everyone because the fire spreads to other houses. People who don't have a connection with Sinn Féin, they find that their homes are being burnt as well. But that night is particularly terrible because you have descriptions of people jumping from their upstairs windows out onto the street because their house is on fire. People in you know their night clothes. It's just this really chaotic, hellish atmosphere. But. I suppose the second night is probably the worst in the terms of physical damage that the Black and Tans do. But what happens is, after that, they insist that all business is closed down in Tralee. And they also, this creates this terrible atmosphere and people start fleeing the town. People start boarding their homes. International journalists say it's as bad as anything they had seen on the Western Front in terms of French towns that had been occupied by the Germans. By the end of the week, by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's becoming clear that people are actually going hungry because bakeries are closed. People, you know, goods aren't being sold. People are going hungry. The tourist gory on rank, agus o gakuna dem down, i gorkig agus sakula der grev scale more titimamaki rolly, agus the lana der araha gor rolly, agus lastig the kupla law. To scale to Marial or the sack of Tralee or Hurishk, the Bay of Plenty Times, it's a new Helen. Bad news is coming out of Ireland. The bad news cannot be contained in Ireland. The maintenance by senior British figures that they are containing uh, this particular problem uh, is not credible as a result of an event like the siege of Tralee, which is being written about internationally as an attempt to try and starve out a town of some 10,000 people, impacting, of course, on men, women and children. And newspapers like The Observer in Britain were referring specifically to the immense weakening of Britain's moral position throughout the world. <laughs> 